All right, let's talk about the weather as we approach. Uh, it's 515 sun. Uh, not officially up just yet, but already plenty of daylight and this early morning. This is when it's best to get outside. Uh, the heat is not too intense just yet. This afternoon 102 tomorrow 103 Wednesday marks the beginning of our excessive heat warning. It will be with us Wednesday 108 Thursday 111. That would set a new record high for the date and Friday 110. That's also expected to be a new record high. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the worst of the heat, but it is hot every single day for the foreseeable future. Saturday 106, Sunday 103, a little bit of a breeze across the upcoming weekend. Hey, let's keep you hydrated. Uh, of course, we talk about the importance of drinking plenty of water all the time, but in the summer, Foods that have a lot of water content include veggies like cucumbers, tomatoes, or as my six year old calls them, tomatoes because he, ha because he had a Welsh preschool teacher, uh, celery, peppers, broccoli, uh, fruits, melons, berries, pineapples, oranges, and apples. That'll help keep the kiddos hydrated. Drink half your weight of water daily uh, in ounces obviously not not pounds, but that's probably at least for me more than 64 ounces of water. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Just avoid the intense midday and afternoon heat this morning. This is the time to get out there. 76 at 6 a.m. 82 at 8 in the morning by 10 in the morning. It's 91 degrees and we will hang out uh, just a tick or two beyond 100 mid to late afternoon. Like yesterday, some thicker high clouds are on the menu this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, a few high clouds. We're 103 calm tomorrow. Not much wind through the end of the week as the excessive heat warning runs Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can obviously see why looking at those temperatures and still toasty above average this upcoming weekend. Today